So far, all of the different queries that we've done have been select queries, and we've just displayed the data that is already in the database. So take a look at this query, select all from staff. I'm just showing you what is in the staff table. And I can clarify that by putting in where filters, for instance, this one where salary is greater than 15,000, but I'm still showing you records from the staff table. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna introduce aggregate queries that gather together different records and do different types of functions on those gatherings. To show you what I mean, I'm just gonna do one of these aggregate functions straight away on this query that we see here in front of us. Here, I've just put in the count aggregate query and I'm about to execute and it counts how many different records in the staff table adhere to this filter of a salary greater than 15,000. And the answer is five. The count is a function that is built into the SQL of the database. And it's very similar to the types of functions that we see in the Excel spreadsheet. In the count function, I pass in a particular field. In this case, I just passed in all fields using the asterisk. And in this example, it didn't really matter because I just wanted to count all of the records, but I could just have easily put in the F name field or any of the other fields. And it would count again, how many different records of that field is coming in with this particular where clause. In this example, it may not seem a huge benefit to use the count function because I could have just seen clearly that there were five records there just from the simple select query. But imagine if that select query was returning thousands of different records. Rather than me eyeballing each of the different records, I would like to get SQL to do the hard work for me and count up how many different records are there if that was the information that I wanted. What other aggregate functions are there? Well, let's go back to the simple select query where I'm just selecting all from staff. What if I wanted to sum all of the different salaries of all of the different staff members? That is, get a total payroll of all of the staff. I could just select the salary field and then pass that into the sum aggregate function in SQL. And that gives me a total payroll of 130,000. Obviously, the sum aggregate query is only suited to number fields, whereas the count aggregate function is suited to either number or text. In certain situations, you can use two different aggregate queries together. Take a look at this example. Here, I'm using the count and the sum aggregate functions, and they both complement one another. I'm pointing the count at staff number and the sum at the salary, and I'm getting both different values coming back in a joint aggregate query. This is just an introduction to aggregate queries, and I'm just using the count and the sum aggregate queries to do that. I'm going to be looking at the min, max, and average aggregate queries in a later tutorial. And I'm also going to be looking at the as keyword to rename some of these different column headings in the result sets. And that's becoming necessary now because a lot of the different column headings are starting to become convoluted and need some clarification. But this is your introduction to the count and the sum aggregate functions in SQL.